All right, guys, we're back in the shop. Just came back from getting some parts in town. So today we're gonna install the oil filter on this Perkins. Um, it is a smaller one than the original one. However, it's the same length and it'll fit and it'll do the job. It's a 1188. There's a lot of different filters you can get. This is the one I was recommended by them. So the way how this works, now this is an old tractor and I got a stock oil filter housing still. And how this works is you get that insert filter. And if you look down there, I don't know if you can see it. Let's see here. There's a little spring down there on that shaft. And then there's a washer that goes on top of that spring. And that's supposed to help keep the filter from just dropping down. So then the filter goes down like this. And then this whole thing mounts onto this oil filter housing here. And there's a bolt on the top right there. This bolt is what pulls the oil filter housing up and then seals it off. Now we'll see how, how we're doing here with like leakage. I've cleaned this up and ran the wire wheel over it so it should be 100%. But if it's leaking here, I'll replace this washer probably with a copper washer. We'll see. For now, this is going to stay here. We'll give it a try. I glued this back there already. And... There is upgrade kits where you can get this part new. You just take these two bolts out and then you put the new part on and then you can do the normal spin on filters right on here, which might be something I do in the future, but for now I wanted to keep it as stock as possible. So this is why we have this thing. And if you look here carefully, it's really hard on the, on the video to read it, but it talks about what kind of oil you should use at what temperature ranges. It's really old. This is probably the original sticker from when they first printed this thing. I'll see, maybe someone knows. It says something like recommended oil and then it goes on, but it's really hard to read it. So if you know what the sticker would say, please put it in the comments down below. I'm curious. And if you guys have any suggestion on this, please let me know. Um, yeah, we'll see. I'll mount this on and then we'll keep going here. We have a couple things left to do and I, I can't wait to get this thing started. So I should have most everything here now. It's just a matter of having time to put it together and then we'll be cruising. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.